Second division of the classic distaff mile of 2001. There, Rafael pacing. Strong start in the center. Cinder best. Fast lane cruising is getting the word go to cruise on out of there. Walk on the beach. Sanibel Island is going to be joining the pace. On the inside, fifth is only the best leaving. Then it's back to holding court, and Ramalad Hanover is trailing into the first turn. Cinder best has hit the front. Fast lane cruising up on the outside. Walk on the beach settled away in third. Sanibel Island took off the speed and lays to the inside in fourth. Two lengths up on only the best from fifth. Holding court and trailing the field. Ramalad Hanover in 26 and 3. Cinder Best is the best of length. Fast lane cruise in. Considers coming out from second. Sanibel Island quickly up on the move from fourth. There goes Sanibel Island on the outside. Warrington has her in top stride now. Cinder Best isn't going to race her. Waples grabs on into the handholds and Sanibel Island sweeping up fourth to first on the way to the half. Three mares back is Fast lane cruise in. Walk on the beach tips up from fourth. Only the best moves out from fifth. And then it's back to Ramalette Hanover and holding court on the outside. 55 and 3 was the half. Sanibel Island is the leader into the final three eighths of this mile. Walk on the beach is drawing ever closer on the inside third. That's the early leader, Cinder Best, still right there attending the pace. Only the best is an improving second over fourth. Fast lane cruising, looking a little trapped in from fifth. Holding court, sixth on the outside and trailing Ramalette Hanover at head stretch. Four on the inside, three on the outside Sanibel Island walk on the beach only the best from second over cinder best along the inside into the stretch 124 and three three-quarter time and here comes only the best another classic series upset maybe in the making Sanibel Island slicing back out his fast lane cruising but it's only the best to win it by a head she ran down and got past Sanibel Island fast lane cruising was third only the best a head winner in 151 one and four. Familiar combination scoring here in the second division tonight of the classic distaff. Christophe Roux and Vardy with only the best. Uh, coming off a break last time at Dover Downs, just tell us first of all what happened on that occasion. Well, the, tight, the turns are a little tighter at Dover and uh, we were going, uh, basically we were going to win. She was going by them and uh, she just, uh, as they say, blew the turn and we made a break going too fast around the turn, but uh, luckily we came back tonight. All right, uh, she handled the track a lot better, uh, obviously, tonight. Uh, turning for home looked like she was going to explode off cover, go to an easy win, but uh, it was still a hard-fought one. Yeah, well, 27-1 and one last quarter they came, and she's coming from second over, so she's got to come 26-4, and 26-3, and three, and, uh, you know, she just fights right to the end. She's not the soundest filly in the world, but she's got the biggest heart, so... I love her. <laughs> <laughs> Just getting a look at it there on the monitor, and uh, you had a horse on each side of you coming to the end. She really did have to dig in. Uh, just talk to the uh, two horses you beat. Of course, the great Sanibel Island. She never quits. No, she just hung in there, you know, as tough as she always does. And, uh, you know, I had to give everything, we, you know, from my mare to get by him. And, uh, you know, we were just lucky to get there. All right, Chris, congratulations. Thank you. Christophe Ruinvardi teaming up here with only the best, an impressive winner tonight, 51 and 4. We've got the prices from race number 8, and then Frank with a look ahead to the ninth.